to you know other characters. But this game, not so much. Just three stocks only, and one character. And it is it is going to be the game and watch coming in from Mr. Escalator. He did have a Rosa prior too. Yeah, I think Game & Watch is one of the most slept on characters in this game, so I mean, if you not watch a bad it, call. If you watch anything that Meister does, it's like, you know what, maybe this character isn't that bad. That guy's ridiculous. Yeah, and Venia and Tilde, man, what a team. Greninja Falco, we just saw um, a Greninja Robin, right? So maybe mm -hmm. this guy just likes birds. Hey, you know, Cable Op needs to be extremely scared in terms of trying to land because he may have great kill power, but he is also great combo food between both Venya and Tilde. And you see their priority seems to be focusing on them and keeping Escalator in the corner. Yeah, just keep the game of watch away. Make sure you can't get any crazy saves or just kill him at super early percents, right? If he gets caught in the crossfire, eventually mm -hmm. a stray hit's just going to take care of him. Oh, man, Venya just hopping around using that down air as a movement option as well. Yeah, you will pretty much never see Venya holding shield for more than like two seconds at a time. He is constantly on the move, making you feel very stressed out. Oh, that side B is going to not take that stock out. Uh, I, anytime I see that move hit, honestly, I just assume somebody's going to die at this point. It's so lethal. So many situations where you're like at 40, 50 percent, he just gets you a little bit off stage and then mm. keeps drifting and dragging you out. Oh, man, it's real ugly. Oh, but of course, I move very unsafe on block. So if you do manage to shield it, you're in some serious trouble. Saw that right there as Venya takes a free stock. Yeah, leaving any opening available for Venya is a very scary place to be in. And you see that even in disadvantage, Venya is aggressive. He understands that you want him to, he wants you to believe that you could go for that spike. Unfortunately for the yellow team though, Mr. Escalator is actually gonna go down relatively early on that stock. Yeah, definitely a sad SD right there. He air dodge up toward the edge and just didn't have it. Oh, the forward tilt though, all right, WWE. Hit him with the chair. That character has a surprisingly solid frame dead at times, too, especially that up B, which we've seen him go for quite a bit. Uh, I think he needs to be a little bit careful on it because the green team is kind of looking for it to punish at this point. Yeah, and even if it doesn't get punished, it still just takes him out of the game for mm -hmm. as long as it takes him to return to the ground. Yeah, he could use the key to get back down, but then that's punishable. Yeah, solid move in singles when dubs. You kind of let Cable Op get uh, teamed up on. I mean, they're looking a little bit better so far, but Vinya still yet to lose a stock and Tilted just kind of running around in circles. Got some friendly fire from the yellow team as well. Looks like they just kind of need to get their act together. Finally, Venya going to drop that first stock. Oh, and Tilde dropping his second in the process. Okay, and it's a little bit more doable. Back to even finally taking out that stock was such an important factor. And, you know, it seems like Escalator is starting to find his footing on what he was aiming for, too. He was doing a great job of covering Venya over on the side until he took that Shadow Sneak. Oh, falling out of the last hit there of that forward air. Definitely wouldn't have killed a heavy character like Rob, mm -hmm. but that moves ridiculously strong. Same kind of thing as Rob's side B, right? You just mm -hmm. drag them off the stage, keep drifting, and all of a sudden they're like right up on the blast zone. Even if the move's not all that powerful in its own right, just the positioning you get off of it is so huge. Yeah, I mean, well, and then you also have the strong gameplay from Falco on the up tilt. Still confirms like he did so. Uh, Rob not dying just yet. He's still pretty heavy at center stage. Love the escape from Mr. Escalator, though. Popping the up B out of 2v1 pressure, mm -hmm. it's such a good option yeah, for that. Yeah, that was a great idea to use it right there because then you're like, all right, they, they can't really do much to this. The fact that you can see that Shadow Sneak so much better now and it's still something you have to worry about in dubs, it's such a strong move. Yeah, not quite as sneaky, but you're still in the shadows, so mm -hmm. it's hard to track a character like that. Also, Venia and Escalator look like they're on the same team because they're both white. So that might be a little bit of a visual difficulty for these guys. Oh man, even Falcon and Greninja with the highest jumps in the game. Can't get a reach color off scheme that. For, for Cloud or somebody just with white coats, please, at this point. like Yeah, please. It, or DLC skins, please. I'll, I'll throw my I'll money at you, Nintendo. Amount. Please. Yeah. Give me a Zach costume for Cloud if we're talking about that real quick. I like the decision making of Escalator so far. He's keeping all of his hits very safe, very simple, and his defense is playing on point. Yeah, and he's not rushing toward either of them, right? He's mm -hmm. saying, all right, you guys are both in the corner. Even though I'm really losing this match in terms of stock and percent, mm -hmm. I'm going to just do my best to stay away from any confrontation here. Nothing on the re-grab there, too. Ooh. And Venya just weighing it out. It's like, all right, I'm going to let him think that he's fine. I still have a stock up. There's no point in me trying to commit to, like, say, a back here and then allowing him to get back on stage and go and deal with uh, Tilde, who is currently down on his last stock. I really like the fact that he was not willing to put himself in disadvantage here for the sake of trying to go for something when he had the lead. All right, moving into the second game, I think what Escalator and uh, Cable Ob have to do is just pick their spots better, right? I feel like too many times we saw one of them just distracted, stuck in an offstage position, and then because Greninja and Falco 
get up and down so quickly, right? Mm -hmm. They have very high jumps, but also very high fastball speeds. They can just make it back, cause that 2v1 to go for longer than it should, right? And then Rob and Game Watch, if they're off stage or way up in the air, it takes them a long time to get back down, go for those crucial saves. You were talking about those fast jumps, too, just made me realize how uh, they were catching Escalator a lot on some of those up Bs, too, because even though you got really high from that up B, all it takes is like one solid jump from uh, a, f a back air from Falco, who could just do that, and it's pretty much a full hop, and it will punish you for it. I think, though, regardless of that SD, they were doing a good job of running it back towards the end there. I think Mr. Escalator was starting to finally find his footing, and uh, hopefully there's a couple more team combos that come in from Cable Lob's uh, zoning pressure as well. Yeah, I think one thing that's really cool about the Rob Game Watch composition, I almost said compilation, composition, <laughs> is that if... Um, Game Watch does decide to pop the up out of shield. Rob can cover the entire stage with his laser. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop when it makes contact with somebody. Mm -hmm. So it's a good way to fend all of them off and also shake the pressure just by way of using the up B straight up. Yeah, similar to what we saw out of Jewel and uh, MGW earlier where MGW ran up, held shield, while Jewel would throw Thoron out, or he would full hop while he would throw a Thoron or an Arc Thunder out because then it let the person who was on the other side fall asleep at the wheel. It's like, oh, here comes a body. Wait, there's a full-blown projectile behind that. Yeah, now imagine that with invincibility frames in a hitbox, and you've got the Game & Watch Rob comp composition. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I keep almost saying compilation. I've been watching too many YouTube videos. Definitely, pretty much everybody on screen is capable of pulling off some of their own montages on their own. Yeah, But being able to sure. see it right here on the House of 3000 stream at Defend the North is another big thing of its own. All right, we've got stage control on the side of the green team. Ooh, drop the team combo, though. And it just looks like they're pulling ahead already. Mm -hmm. Percent's looking good. Oh, but quick break away from the yellow team. See what they're able to do. Cable Lob off stage. Yeah, it's going to take them a while to get back. Rob doesn't move all that quickly with the Robo Burners. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that it seems like Cable Lob is trying to box a little bit more up close because he was kind of he was staying back and he was getting jungled a lot for it because he was waiting too long to go in and try and save his escalator. Now he's staying. Now he's playing a bit more up close and it's working out for him, especially as this these first stocks are starting to progress. Oh, up throw up air from the platform on the very light game watch. That's going to do it. Not normally a kill confirm. And unfortunately for... Oh! oh he's, everybody I don't know if he ran out of jet fuel there, but um, there ended up being a kill coming in from uh, Tilde. Oh, was I he trying to jet? Was he trying to push him out with Hydro Pump after yeah, that fair? Yeah, he was. It wouldn't have killed him, but it definitely would have kept the position going. They could have turned it into a kill. Yeah. And then again, he's at 16, so... Yeah, Escalator yeah. definitely not DIing out for sure on that situation there. All right. Wow, the gangsta laser, one single shot from standing. It's got to wake you up, just remind you where you're at. Yeah, it just keeps you honest, right? Mm -hmm. If you thought you were going to dash in, start getting some openings for your team. Nope, Falco, pretty good at stuffing that out. And same could be said for Greninja's uncharged shuriken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those two single hit moves will catch you off guard, put you in just enough his son for somebody to, to punish. I just got to point out how Venya tracked the roll from Cable Ob. He rolled behind him, and he's like, mm -hmm. I know that your habit when you I get my roll behind you is mm -hmm. to roll the other way. He just inches toward him and down tilts. So clean. It's the little things, man. Hey, those little things are what lead the stocks. And it, you, Venya, definitely a big pusher of like taking most of these stocks so far between these sets until they just kind of play an interruption. Oh, oh that double. was forever. Uh, just barely able to take both, but he was able to close it out after the missed counter attempt as well. And the other team actually with the lead right now, momentarily. Yeah, they're bleeding out heavy on these stocks, though. So. They managed to tag Escalator. It's looking really good for them. Cable Ob, though, down to his last stock. Of course, a healthy, heavy character right now, but still, never feel too safe against a doubles team like this, where both characters so combo-oriented, and then together, they really lay the damage on thick. Whoa, he popped out of Rob's side B. Yeah, there's been a lot of multi-hit fallout so far in the set between the, the fairs from Falco and yep. that side B. This is a big difference between having stage advantage in the 2v1 or all of a sudden having to deal with somebody who has you in the corner. Yeah, this is four characters with a lot of multi-hit moves, right? So you can see it happen pretty consistently throughout this match. 20 years later, they still don't know how to code multi-hits to work all the time. I mean, yeah, 20 years, uh, what's it, 15 years later, we still don't get to play Fountain of Dreams, but uh, that's another sad moment there. It's well, never been good in doubles, too, which is a shame. Another stock going down on Tilde there, and the green team down to the last stock piece, along with the yellow team. Very dead even game. Oh, oh Benya no. not going to make it back. All right, this is a huge moment for the yellow team. If they're able to play this 2v1 properly, they've got it. You're going to see Tilde going for Rob so hard. Wow, inward DI from Cable Lob actually keeping him out of that back air hitbox. Yeah, a couple team miscues so far with some with some uh, friendly fire. 
But I think if they could force Tilde off stage, they could go for some of these bucket charges and have yet another option. Granted, you do have that right there, the very fast frame uh, reflector. But if you get a grab, that'll be a swift stock gone if you get a full bucket. All right, up tilt to back air. Gonna work for so long for Falco, but man, the shield whittled down. Just picking his spot perfectly. Really well done there by Tilde. And now he just has to win the 1v1 with a percent lead. Just Look. barely getting out of the, uh, that drag down there into down smash as well. Throwing Ooh. out the taunt, trying to feel himself like, yo, you got nothing on me right now. Yeah, that was the hitboxless shine right there. Mm. Kicking his reflector around. All right. Oh, Tilde is just jumping and baiting uh, Mr. Escalator to go for the roll to center stage. That was insane right there. And uh, you had to know that that's what he's looking for, right? He's just inching towards center every time progressively. And Mr. Escalator is like, oh, oh no, man, I, I don't know the way out. That's the first successful 2v1 comeback that we've seen so far on this top eight. We've seen multiple True. where people were really holding it down, but till they came to play, it's like, nah, I'm running this back. You got nothing on me, especially now that you lost the 2v1. You guys keep hitting each other. No way. 